In the energy quadrant, taking a look at a new high in WTI crude oil futures for the month of August, WTI crude oil dropped after a new high, hitting its highest level since April 30th. We fell from the 62.5% retracement from the April 12th high to the June 4th low. That level sits at about 81.97 on a daily chart. And that matters because if we close above that level, the probability of hitting the 75% retracement, which is about 83.87, becomes very, very high. The high today, 81.90, was up about a third of 1%. The low today, 80.83, was down almost a full percentage point with a little bit of time left in the session. We sit near the lows, down about two thirds of 1%. Today was only the fifth session with a lower close from the previous day's settlement in the last 14 sessions. Now Brazil comes up as an issue for crude oil. Brazil's oil production has started to recover following a plunge earlier this year. Brazilian oil production took a 25% hit earlier this year, but it's bouncing back as platforms wrap up maintenance and start pumping out more oil. Some new projects are also kicking off sooner than, sooner than expected, which should help Brazil boost overall oil production later this year, maybe even more than people think. This uptick in Brazil's crude oil production might throw a wrench in OPEC and OPEC Plus's plans to manage the market from the supply side of things. Also, the end of June is the end of the single strongest seasonal period for crude oil prices, which means it's the end of the seasonal tailwind for crude oil that comes from seasonality. This does not mean that crude oil will not continue to go up. Also doesn't mean that crude oil price drops even when just looking at the seasonal charts. It just means that the strength of the seasonal tailwind that essentially started in mid-February tapers off a little bit. This still doesn't make seasonals a trading strategy, and everyone should remember that, but it's also important for commodities traders to know what those seasonal factors are, and that includes crude oil traders. Thank <laughs> you.